Oh, dinky do! Now, here we are. It's me, Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live with the late night pop up. Come and join me. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And as we move into later evening, I thought I'd just pop up and say hi to every single one of you. What you're watching is the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. And, of course, we are work in progress. We're finding optimum times for the best broadcasting on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. So if you'd like to come and join us, you are very, very welcome. We have a lot to talk about. We have so little time to do it in. You contribute. It's it's your show. God and Roddick watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Lee Fern. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say the Scotty McClue Tuesday night late night pop up just for you to say Dinky Doo. Now then. <clears throat> Each uh, Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp, as you probably know, I present the World's Top Talk Show live on Facebook Live. Lovely to have you with us. Louis Faber, good evening, Scotty. Absolutely shattered after a few days at the Fringe. What did you see? Spill, Louis Faber. Fess up. Step up to the plate. Do tell, because we're always interested in the chit-chat. Now, this is the World's Top Talk Show because it involves all of us here on Facebook. It's a global program and a very warm welcome to Canada and America and Australia and New Zealand and everybody in Europe. Jeez, Scotty, give us time to breathe, says John Adams. John Adams, there's lots of time to breathe and there's always a few moments to spare for Scotty McClue, the Wild Stop broadcaster, Dinky Doo. Evening, Scotty, says John Rogers. Welcome, John. Lovely to have you with us. Ben Lucas is watching. Gary Cross is watching. Excellent stuff. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. The Scotty McClue is live on Facebook Live. I know it's past a lot of your bedtimes, but as I say, you could spare a few moments. Brandon McEwen, Brendan. So I wonder if that's Brendan, Brandon McEwen, or Brendan McEwen, Brandon, who's watching, or Brandon McEwen, Brendan. There we are. Do tell. Sausage suppers wins, says Alan McGee. Evening, Scotty. Two broadcasts on one day. We are absolutely spoiled. Lol. Yes, you are ruined. But um, this will keep up. And uh, as they say, the beatings will continue until morale improves. <laughs> Love all that nonsense. Only a joke, a little bit of banter, a little bit of patter there. Hello, Scotty, my wife's asleep. All right, Derek, Jimmy Walker, we'll keep the noise down. But that doesn't mean you can't watch. You'll just have to keep the sound down, and I'll try and not talk too loudly. So there we are. So, so, sorry. <laughs> yes, breaking my own rule there. Uh, fit like Scotty, says Abby Duncan. Up in the northeast of Scotland, dinky do fit like yourself. Fush your do's, hen. I'll tell you that. Hello there, Scotty. I'm on the night shift now, says Robert Campbell. Excellent, Robert, because I think there's an opportunity to talk to a lot of night shifters on the Scotty McClure Tuesday night late night pop up. So there we are. Hello, says Ian Hales. Hello, Ian Hales. Lovely to be with you. You're watching Scotty McClue and Dinky Doo. Now, a word or two about my coupon. It looks a little bit blotchy. That's just the lighting, I assure you. A lot of the shadows, for instance, it looks as if I've got a scar here. I haven't, right? The other night it looked as if I had a mole here. I don't. And a bit of a blotch here and a blotch there. That's nothing like my complexion. I think that's your lighting, but the camera is so much better. Uh, the last camera wasn't so good, but it did flatter me. So there you are. Looks shiny, says Alan McGee. Well, that's because we haven't got any makeup on, Alan. You see, you've probably guessed it, but the Scotty McClure show is complete without any production values. And uh, once we introduce them, you have a major serious piece of funny television. So there you are. I'll put the subtitles on. Scotty, look at the photo on the wall. Very cool and very smart. Yes, that's old McClue. And there's another one there. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't. It looks a bit dark over that part of the world. There we are. Uh, polished your head. Yes, I've given it a right good shine. The paint, the paint, 
Sayer. The Pates had uh, a bit of a shine. Um, remember your Wally used to be sitting in the bucket on a Monday morning, Sayer. Yes, absolutely, because uh, apparently Paul had uh, had uh, had to sort the lad out. <laughs> Those are the daisy. Eh? <laughs> dear, we don't want that again. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the World Stop broadcaster. Tuesday night, late night pop-up, just for you, dinky-doo. I'm going to share, guys, because uh, I think that gets us started. And if you could do the same, that would be tremendous. Alistair Bajak's watching. Alistair Bajak, lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo, I say, from Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster. Just going to do a little bit of sharing, guys. I'm just getting myself sorted out here. I've got so many devices, some of them work better than others. You a late night or Scotty? Well, I can do it. Depends on what projects I'm involved in. If I'm involved in very big projects, then I work seriously into the night. Uh, other times I pop off to Bobo's. But as you know, I used to work regularly till 2, 3 in the morning. Uh, most nights. So there you are. So I had to be at my sharpest at 10 o'clock in the evening. Uh, Scott Bede is watching. Hello, says Robbie. Hello, Robbie Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo, says Alistair Bajack. Lovely to have you with us. Alice Dear. I like that spelling of it. Alice Dear. Um, I think it's probably better than Alistair. But there we are. I don't know. It's um, personal preference. What are the actual differences, Alistair? If you can tell us. Because they're sort of pronounced the same, aren't they? Alistair. 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 Yes, that sort of thing. So there you are. Welcome, welcome, welcome. When are you back on the radio, Scotty? Says Alan McGee. Probably sooner rather than later, Alan. But um, I'm not at liberty to spill any beans at the moment, of course. Dinky do, Scotty. Says Scott Biddy. Yes, Scott. Excellent. Lovely to be back with you. What are you doing tomorrow? Says Derek Jimmy Walker. Very, very busy tomorrow. Very maxed at the moment, but I've always got time to pop up and talk to not just one nation, but all nations. So there we are. I'm just going to do a bit of sharing. If you guys can do the same, as I say, that would be absolutely excellent. So there we are. Share. And we'll share to the Scotty McClue page and let everyone know. So there you are. Why do you ask Derek Jimmy Walker? What are you doing tomorrow? I'm having a movie night with Mr. Insomnia again. Need you on more often, says Robbie Crossan. Oh my goodness, Robbie. The nation would never sleep if McClue was on all the time. Sorry, guys. I shouldn't be having a wee key around you there. But uh, I'm just going to put uh, live now. And then you all know live Yes, no, we did do a pop-up earlier, but um, we'll have this one here and get everybody joining us. Dinky Doo, Scotty McClue is live now. Kenny Ogg's watching. Kenny joined us earlier. Lovely to have you with us. And we were mentioning football. I'd rather not talk about football. I don't want anything that's divisive because the purpose of this program is to bring the world together via Facebook Live. Excellent stuff. Giuseppe Bacchetti is watching. See, si, senor. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Have you arrived largo or presto or andante? Yes. What about maestoso? McClue would arrive maestoso. Do you know that one, Giuseppe Bacchetti? So they are. Ian Whitelaw's watching and Thomas John McDougall. Lovely to have you with us, dinky do. Come and join us, I say. Uh, got my daughter Jasmine over from New Zealand, Scotty, and loving it, says Scott Biddy. Dinky do, Scott, in regards to Jasmine from NZ. Lovely to have you with us. Bring the world together, says Giuseppe Bachetti. I agree, sir. Si, senor. Carolina Minahini is watching, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Going to the gym with Mrs. Walker does her workout. So there you are. Well, she's sleeping just now. So shh, no workouts just now. Just calm it right down, I say. Uh, late night call on Scott FM was good. Some characters in that, says Ian Hill. Scott FM, Ian Hill, was Scotland's 
finest radio hour. And they should never, ever, 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 ever have let anybody spoil that. The Scottish people should have bought that radio station when the original owners wanted to sell it and kept it going. So there you are. I mean, that was a fantastic radio station. And you'll see the Scott FM story on Scotty McClue's YouTube. Uh, Colin Miller, good evening. Andy McCrory, good evening. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I say. For those of you who've just joined us and you're wondering what on earth's going on, your Facebook page will be all lit up. There we are. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world stock broadcaster. Jacqueline McFarlane's watching. Gordon Roddick. Hi, Scotty. You're very good at dialects. Well, Gordon, uh, as you know, I think you probably are yourself. Any announcer has to uh, drop into dialect. So, for instance, if I was in the northeast of England, I'd be talking like that. You know what I'm saying, Gordon? That's how I'd be speaking. And uh, then perhaps I, if I were further down Yorkshire like, you know, you get a bit of that, eh? Bit of, bit of Yorkshire. And then over to Cumbria, of course. Aye, Cumbria. <laughs> That's it like. Eh? <laughs> so there we are. Night, night, Scotty. Off to bed. God bless us, Jacqueline. Good night, Jacqueline. Sleep tight, Angel. And I hope all is well with you. How are you doing the night, old son? Says Ian Blackwood. Gordon Ritchie is watching. Very well, Ian. Thanks for joining us. Thomas John McDougall can talk to camera. Well, yes, we have to talk to camera. That's what television is all about, talking to camera. There we are. John Gray is watching Dinky Doo John and uh, the wonderful Gordon Roddick, who's uh, just been on there. He is a man who can teach us all to talk to to camera. So there you are. Wonderful. And um, very, very successful career, long successful career in ITV as an announcer and a transmission controller. Excellent stuff. Ben Hodgson's watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure. This is the big one. Let's get sharing, guys, and get these numbers up a bit. The numbers always come after we're finished. All right, Scotty boy, how are we tonight? Uh, can talk to you on camera, says Thomas John McDougall. Uh, yes, I don't really know how you do that. What we need to do is get the Skype up uh, one night, and then we could probably chit-chat via Skype. Carl Carlos Donnelly's watching Dinky Doo. Gives a Scouse accent, says Gordon Ritchie. Um, hey, Gordon. Are you watching now? I've got everybody on here from Liverpool. We're watching Scotty McClue. You know what I'm saying? That's it. We love him down here. You know, we love the bones of him. Scotty McClue, we'd have him on in Liverpool any time, night and day, during the night. It doesn't matter because, uh, you know, we're up and about anyway. There's always something happening. We are the city that never sleeps. They say it's New York, like, but it's actually Liverpool. You know what I'm saying? Did you like that one? All right, Scotty from Sheffield. Danny Leslie. Aye, Sheffield, aye, you know, proper, proper place that is. Hey, Stocksbridge, eh? So there you are. Giuseppe Bacchetti. Robbie Cross and Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet. Quality Scotty, says Gary Sampson. So there we are. So funny, says Stuart Dutton. Well, I mean, that's what it's like, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? And then you can go over a little bit if you're going to witness. And then you go a little bit further. You're into North Wales, like, you know. And then you get a bit more like that as you get into Wales. Yes, because you're not from England. You're from well, you're from Canafron, I would say. So there you are. One love, says David Clark. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And then as you get a bit further away from Liverpool, you get across the Irish Sea and you get into Belfast and it gets a bit more like that. Do you know what I'm saying to you, all we people? That's it. You're watching Scotty McClue broadcasting live from Belfast. So there you are. Uh, Scotty, hope you're okay. Can you do Cornish? Oh, I can do Cornish. I'll sleep like a pig this afternoon. I had chicken soup for my dinner. So there you are. I'm from Mousel. I don't know if you know Mousel. Near Elston in Cornwall. That's it. So there you are. Uh, where is Sharice? She's in her bed. So shh. Don't wicked Sharice. I say shh. 
excellent stuff. She's having a wee bit of a break, so there you go. Uh, come and join us, folks. You're very, very welcome. Just going to do a bit more sharing. Share, 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 share. Uh, and there you go. And uh, whoa, what are you saying? From London. That's where I'm from. London. Yeah. No? You know what I mean? Yeah, up the old apples. Yeah, no problem. So there you are. Stephen Menzies, did you do James Cotters is watching. Well done on the accent. It's a great laugh, Scotty, says Robert Campbell. Okay, we can do a few accents, Robert. You know what I'm saying, like. So there we go. And uh, when I was a little boy, all the miners in Scotland used to talk as if they had gravel for their breakfast, dinner, and tea. The poor souls, they probably did do. But um, it was it was amazing you get that. Very, very deep carry on. So there you are. James Cotter's Dinky Doo, Stephen Menzies, laughing his head off. Excellent stuff. Right, if you've just joined us, as I say, a very warm welcome. Quick late night pop up. Now, can all of you share so that we let people know that we're on? I'm just going to share to the Scotty McClue group. If you're not a member of the Scotty McClue fan group, then get yourselves in there big style. I'll accept you. And uh, we'll get on to that. I'm just going to put uh, live now, join me. L-I-V-E-N-O-W-J-O-I-N uh, me. Right, that's it. There we go. And uh, who am I sharing to? The group. So sharing a group. There we are. Uh, can you do a Jamaican scotty? Yes. I remember I had a lovely lady on. And she was from Montserrat. Uh, she said, I am from Montserrat. And I said, and what brings you over here, my She said, volcanoes. So there we are. The volcanoes were erupting and poor old Montserrat was getting covered in ash. And for the Commonwealth Broadcasting, I did a broadcast to Radio Montserrat. Um, I'm still up, says uh, Derek Jimmy Walker. Excellent. Keith Wotherspoon. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And a wee, a wee wave. That's what we like. Right. Uh, we're sharing in the group. What's the group called? Scotty McClure. The fan group. There we are. Lovely, lovely. Lovely jubbly. I hope you're getting sharing, guys. Share as much as you can. I'll just share to the group. Live now. Join me. So there. Uh, Carl Carlos Stanley, you do a really good accent. I thank you. Raymond Benson's watching. Lol, your gravelly Scots accent sounded like that great actor Ian Cuthbertson. Do you remember Ian? Big Ian used to speak like that when he was playing Budgie. Uh, he was playing, who, who was he again in Budgie? What was he? You see, Budgie, you are going to bounce. Get your feet off that genuine leather in the back of my Jaguar car. Oh, big Ian, lovely man, Ian Cuthbertson. His father was Sir William Cuthbertson, very famous Glasgow surgeon who lived to quite a ripe old age. Lovely man, um, and did a tremendous amount of work on uh, on on medical matters. So they are Sir William Cuthbertson. Uh, check him out. I'm glad I brought up your subject of dialects. Your tour around Britain was brilliant. So there we are, Gordon. Thank you. I thank you. Remember. I learned at the feet of the master. Uh, Charlie Endel, that was it. Charlie Endel. Yes, Charlie Endel. And then was there not a, a series, Charlie Endel, as a follow-on? I think there was. But Big Ian was tremendous. And he used to write for, I think it was the Scottish Field. He wrote about uh, eating out with Ian Cuthbertson. So there we are. And then you also had uh, in the Tatler in London, stepping out with Margaret Argyle. That was the old Duchess of Argyle. Brilliant, Sir Stephen Menzies. Good evening from East Kilbride. This is Angie. So Angela Goodlett, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us because you had all these wonderful pipe bands from the mining villages, Kilsyth, Colliery, and Dysart and Dundonnell and all that kind of stuff. Wonderful stuff. Oh, so good, Scott, says Thomas John McDougall. It's lovely to have you guys with us. Guys, just to put you in the picture, I see it as a privilege, right? It's your right 
to watch the Scotty McClue show, and I see it as a privilege to present it. Do a French accent, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Uh, je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français très vite, si tu parles longtemps, peut-être je comprends, oui? D'accord, oui. Écoute, mes enfants, oui, euh, je m'appelle Scotty, Scotty McClou, pour la radio, oui, je suis le professeur de radio, oui. So there you are. You're more famous than the Brunsus Derek Jimmy Walker. Whoever oh, knows Scotty McClou, they just haven't all discovered him on Facebook Live yet. But once they do, this program is going... So there you are. Get to bed, man. So Scotty boy, Scotty. You get to bed, man. I'm talking to the world. So there you go. Stevie Woods watching. Thank you, Stevie. Lovely to have you with us. And excellent. Do a German accent, please, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Ich nicht sprechen Deutsche. Ich bin ein Ausländer. Nicht verstehen. Did you like that? There we are. Was that Germanic enough? Scotty, we need a Santa. Do you know anyone that can help Santa himself, perhaps? A Kiwi accent. Oh, I don't know if I can do a Kiwi accent. So there you are. From uh, the North Island or South Island. That's the stuff. Kiwi accent. Yes. No, Scotty. You need to be an actor. Wasted talent, says Stuart Dutton. Can you see me on stage now? Delivering the prologue from Henry V. Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. A kingdom for a stage, princess to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. Then should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars, and at his heels, leashed in like hounds, should famine, sword, and fire crouch for employment. But pardon, gentles, all the flat and raised spirits on whose imaginary forces work. Think when we talk of horses that you see them printing their proud hooves in the receiving earth. So there you are. Bit of, um, bit of the prologue from Henry V, Shakespeare. Uh, what's happening, Scotty, with my photo, Dinky Doo? Scott Dixon, help yourself to photos. There's plenty of Scotty McClure photos out there. Ian Carr's watching Dinky Doo. Avid McCaffrey is watching. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us, Avid. Scott Sherlock Hames is watching. Is Dr. Waitson with you as well? <coughs> Scott Sherlock Hames, I say to you. So there we are. Yes, I would have liked a wee cameo in Still Game because they're saying this is the last series, is that right? And it would have been quite good to have had a jar in the Klansman with Booby. There we are. Now is the hour of our discontent. No, no. Now is the winter of our discontent. There you are. Uh, any single mums uh, watching? So Scott Sherlock Hames. Have to take that comment out. Uh, we can't have that one. So there you are. Scott Shelley Games, you've got to remember a lot of young people watching. So you need to watch your language on here. Otherwise, it's an instant ban. And you'll never, ever be heard of on Scotty McClure's show again. So there you are. A couple of people overplayed their hand the other night. Bye. Yes, absolutely. And no kidding. No kidding. Jen up. I tell you. I promise you. My brother is a magician. There's sometimes I wish he would disappear. Oh, very good. Keep that up your sleeve. Very important. So there we are. And, um, David Gillespie is watching. Didn't you do? Lovely to have you with us. Scotty, it's been years since the last heard in the radio. So happy to hear you back on. Hugh Burns, Dinky do. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, Scotty. It's a Scott Sherlock Holmes. No problem. Apology 100% accepted. It's just we've got a lot of young people watching. We want to set an example. You know what I mean? Anybody can say a wee sweetie word. But mm, uh, zip it, mum's the word I say. Nice hat, Winston. Aye, it happens like that sometimes, you know. So there we are. Uh, excuse me a wee second. I think I'm going to have to <clears throat> have a comfort break. I'll be back with you two seconds. Do not dash off, I say. So there we go. Wee bit of a mop, dude. Oh, scratch at the coupon. The heat 
honest to goodness, the heat in this studio. So there you are. I'm not used. I'm not used to the lime light. That was what it was. It was lime light. Yes, they, they definitely did it. It does Sussex, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Absolutely. Tracy Shaw, dinky doo. Lovely to have you with us, I say. And Dee Gurley is watching. You should all be in your bed. Uh, still games being filmed at the back of the River City set. Wonderful stuff. That's a great set, that River City set. I really, really, really send many, many congratulations. Andrew James, hi, Scott. I used to listen to your late night radio show years ago. Absolutely brilliant. Will you ever have another? I suspect yes is the answer. It's only a question of where and when. So there you are. I saw tonight they were revamping their schedule at LBC in London. In London. So I'd have to speak like that all the time, you know. Uh, lots of idea. It is clammy tonight, says Ian Hills. Yes, we have to run it under the cold tap, Ian. Uh, my cats did, Scotty. I'm sorry to hear that, Scott Sherlock Holmes. And I send you love and blessings from the bottom of my heart and from everybody watching this program, strength to the little cat who is now at Rainbow Bridge and will be playing with my old Labrador called Lord Reith. So there you are. Shiver me timbers and batten down the hatches, Scotty. Why was it called Lime Light? So there you are. I'm wondering if it was, if there was actually lime in the um, stuff, but it was originally a green light, I think, limelight. Scotty, it's lovely having you back on, but it's not the same, says David Clark. Well, that's only because we've not got the callers phoning in, David, but we've got you on here. So it's just slightly different, you know, and people for a while sort of saying, Scotty, maybe your show could do with being a wee bit different. You say, well, okay, well, let's make it different. Let's make it television for a start and uh, all that. Can't wait for a new radio show, says Tracy Shaw. Tracy, leave that with your old uncle Scotty. I'll sort that. When, says David Clark, probably not too Far away, David, because I'm having top-level meetings with very, very senior people at the moment. So, uh, you know, there's a lot happening. So there you go. And, of course, whoever has McClue has the market. So there you are. Uh, I think one of the reasons maybe I went from uh, Scott FM was because it was upsetting the market to such an extent and the other owners did not like it. You know what I'm saying? All that sort of stuff. That's that's uh, a feeling I get. Uh, Marie Sellers, Dinky Do, still tuning in. This is David Clark. Oh yes. I mean, Scotty McClue, you're not going to want to tune out because it's all about you. Do you see what I'm saying? It's not about me. Did you study physics in school? The first law of physics: action equals reaction. Guys, these are not my eyes. That's lighting. Wait, wait, and I'll try and demonstrate it to you. Hang on, I'll just move one of the lights. There, do you see the difference? So there we go. And let's move it around that way. Right, that's it. And you should see a little bit of a difference. It's all lighting. So there you go. Excellent stuff. And no, keep it the same, says Tracy. Keep it the same. What, the show or the lights or what? Excellent. You can't change perfection, Tracy Shaw. What a princess you are, you naughty girl. There you are, swelling old McClue's head. Look, no get into the bonnet now. Excellent. So there we are. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, can everybody share? Tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live on Facebook Live with a late night pop-up just for you, dinky do. <clears throat> Lots of hearts, tap, 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 tap. Tappity tappity tap on the screen. So there we are. And uh, Gavin McVickers watching, dinky do Gavin. I've got uh, relations who are McVickers as well, so I don't know. We might be related. Aha, 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 says David Clark. The show, says Tracy Shaw. Oh, I see what you mean. Keep it like this. Yes. Uh, Robbie says, people in Scottyland, if possible, could put a few shillings in the GoFund page. The more, the quicker we get a show. Absolutely, yes. I mean, Scotty McClure accepts applause or derision on his merits. Gemma Ann Marie McRae, hello, Scotty. Dinky do, Craig Swiss watching. Excellent stuff. Uh, but there is a PayPal on the Scotty McClure website, and it's 100% secure. You want to take your card, stick a fiver in, 
fabulous. Love you to bits. Love you to bits anyway. Doesn't matter. If you don't have it, doesn't matter. But that would be a great help because I can do a lot with tiny little bits of money. If you want to go on the GoFundMe, gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue, you'll see the page. It will tell you all the story. Watch the videos and then Pop in your fiver and Bob's your ante. Hello, hello, says Atlanta Smith. Dinky do. Anyone know what let the cat out of the bag means? Yes. If you let the cat out of the bag, then obviously you've let a secret go. And as we used to say in Yorkshire, aye, cat's out bag now, eh? That's it. Uh, anyone know what cat out of the bag? So there we are. So if you'd let the cat out of the bag, the secret would be there. It'd all have come from somebody um, smuggling the cat into an hotel or something like that. Nobody would know the cat was there because the cat was in a big carpet bag. Then once you let the cat out of the bag, everybody knows the cat's there. So there you are. How are you this evening, says Gemma and Marie McRae. Gemma and Marie McRae, I am blossoming this evening, and so are you. So there you are. Don't change how the radio show used to be. It was brilliant the way it was. Tracy Shaw, I think so. That's why I've always stuck with it. Because people like to meddle. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And we were doing audiences of maybe 200,000 per half hour in central Scotland. Now, these audiences can only be dreamt of in big radio stations in London. So there you are, 200,000 people listened every half hour to Scotty McClure. 460,000 calls to the radio station in one week. It's from the Royal Navy years ago when you got the Cat of Nine Tails and it was kept in a bag. Avid McCafferty, I love your genius, you wonderful lady. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Um, so they let the cat avid. Have I got it right? I'm saying wonderful lady. Wonderful lady. Yes. Am I right? Are you a lady or a gentleman? You have to let the cat out of the bag. The cat of nine tails. And of course, HMS Pinafer, Gilbert and Sullivan's little operetta. Um, then nine o'clock on Sunday. Yes. Derek Jimmy Walker. Exactly says Tracy Shaw, don't let people meddle with it because it was big stuff. Also, not enough room to swing a cat. That avid would be a board ship as well. I think swing the cat of nine tails. So it wasn't to do with that. You're brilliant on the radio, Scotty, says Gemma and Marie McRae. Hopefully I'm all right on the television as well. I know I'm no oil painting, but if anyone's got a problem with Scotty McClure, that's your problem. Uh, Charisse, oi, oi, oi. They were asking where you were, everybody goes, where's Sharice? <laughs> and here you are. Hello, Dinky. Hello, Sharice. We're just doing a quick late night pop-up to talk to not just one nation, but every nation. Scotty McClure. Guys, if you can all spread the word and say, you know, Scotty McClure pops up on Facebook Live, get my URL from the top of my broadcast page and send it round. Bang on, Scotty, says Avid. So, Avid, you are, forgive me, I'm not being uh, facetious here at all, but you are a lady, yes, is that right? Uh, so, there you are. Hello, Derek, hello. Yes, so HMS Pinifer, and um, they're right, it was the cat. So, there you are. They have a chorus, and goodness me, oh, what was that? They're right. It was the cat. It was, it was the cat. <laughs> so there you are, you see? So that's it. Your brilliant TV too, Scotty. A famous VIP. Charisse, I'm a VIP, but I'm not any more I than anyone else. It's as simple as that. But yes, the big, big VIP. Uh, you know, when we go out there, I used to think to myself, my goodness me, this must be how the Queen feels. I can remember going touring towns in Scotland and the crowds lining the street. And I thought, what on earth is on here the day? And they said, you. <laughs> it was for Scotty McClure. And they were shouting at the windies and all the rest of it. Uh, Scotty, his name's David. Oh, sorry, I beg your pardon. It's funny tonight, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Trying not to be, but there you are. I've missed it, says Sharice. Sharice, 
You never, ever miss anything. Remember, you can see it again on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. So there you are. All you need to do is put Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. So it's youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClure one or one word. No, Scotty, I'm a gent. It's David, another naval term on the fiddle. So there you are. Ah, now the fiddle. So wait a minute. So the fiddles would be, now don't tell me, the fiddles, yes, something, a pan on the fiddle. I do apologize, David. It looked like avid from here. So there you are. The pan would be on the fiddles, and the fiddles stop the pan from falling off in a sea. Is that right? Are you a naval man? I tell you. My friend said, uh, his, his wife told me he was a naval surgeon. And I thought, my goodness, they don't have specialized these days. So there you are. Uh, no, talking about you, Scotty, I'm talking about me. They're all asking where I am. Of course they are, Sharice. Okay, Scotty, okay. Okay, Sharice. Thumbs up, big style. Not a problem. No problemo. So there you are. So the fiddles. Um, so they would be the little bars that came up to stop a pot moving aboard ship on the stove. Am I right, David? The accents were funny, said Derek Jimmy Walker. Uh, fiddlers, says Sharice. Fiddler's elbow, Sharice. So there you get the fiddler's elbow. You think, ha, he. Like the guy went into the doctor and the doctor says, where does it hurt? He says, well, it's okay. He says, but it's only if I do that. And he says, well, don't do that. So there you are, you see. It's not money he needs for a radio show, says David Clark. No, no, it's getting the bosses to, uh, you know, sober up and step up to the plate. <coughs> He's a star, says David Clark. McClue's Pies will always be mentioned by me, says Danny Boyle. Ah, McClue's Pies. Wonderful. Always say I to a McClue's Pie. Excellent stuff. So there you go. A big mealy pie factory. Excellent stuff. That's what we want. And you should be able to get McClue's pies. I thought it'd be great. Friday nights, the wee, uh, the wee kiosk, you know, McClue's pies. Robbie Cross on Dinky Durr. And I think it's, it's not cross on. Uh, it's not cross on. Roy Watson. Why are M&Ms called M&Ms? <coughs> well, I love, I love M&M, you know, the rapper. The big bag that they go in. Wonderful stuff. Uh, the doctor's prescribed two M&Ms a day for me. That's tennis elbow, says uh, Sharice. Yes, I know what you mean. Absolutely. Tennis elbow. So there you are. Yes, it reminds me of a joke, but I better not tell it because I'll just get it castigated back to me for the rest of my puff. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Welcome, welcome. Jeff Salim's watching. Uh, Robbie, what you mean, says Sharice. Sharice, you don't need to have a conversation with anybody else. Watch my lips. So there are. Come and join me. I am indeed, sir. It's the rim of your square plate. A square meal. Yes, three square meals. And if the food went over the rim, you're on the fiddle. Yes, absolutely right. The little fiddles. And also the stoves that the chef would cook on at sea would have these little bars to hold the pan so it didn't slide off the stove. And you get hot oil or porridge all over the place. Um, I love M&Ms. So, Sharice, absolutely, Sharice. You help yourself there. Not a problem. There you are. Do you also rap? It's fantastic. So um, come and jive on Facebook Live. Uh, the boss is wanting me to go to bed. Right, off you go to bed. Do what the boss tells you. During the Spanish Civil War, the soldiers eating hard-shelled chocolates, inspiring the mass production of M&Ms. So there you are. woo hoo hoo says Charisse. Excellent. My name was Mac Croson till Culloden, and then it changed, so you were Gallic, actually. I think you'll, origin, you'll have originated in Ireland, though, Robbie. Check that up. Well, we all did, anyway. Derek Telt, so she's always been Telt, hey, now. That's it. That's right, says David McCafferty. Lovely. Helena Innes is watching, a very fine lady. Dinky-doo, Helena. Lovely to have you with us. I hope you're doing well. And I send love and blessings from Scotty McClure, and not just one part of the world, but the universe. 
Everybody is watching globally. South America, North America, Canada. There we are. India, Africa. Excellent stuff. And uh, Shri Stinky Do. Wonderful. One more share. Come have another share, guys. Come on. Share. I've just shared in public. Let everybody know. And uh, they can come and join us if they want. Scotland loves you, Scotty, says Tracy Shaw. And I love the Scottish people, Tracy Shaw. I love all people. All comers. So there you are. And that's what I think is wonderful about building a world talk show. Right? The world's top talk show with the world's top broadcaster, first lord of the internet, Scotty McClure, the world's most humble man. Uh, loving the show. Spot on, says Andy Bell. Andy Bell, dinky do. And uh, welcome to the Scotty McClure show. Paul Sefton's watching. Paul Sefton. But you're not, uh, Paul, you're not from Liverpool, are you? No, we've had this conversation before. And because uh, I always associate your second name with Sefton Park. Sefton Park in Liverpool. You know, that sort of thing. So there we are. Loving the show. Spot on, says Andy Bell. Can't share, says Sharice. There we are. What a surprise, Sharice. And you couldn't share before. And uh, what about Chock a Block or On the Wagon? So there you are. Chock a Block or On the Wagon. What about Carrying the Can? Whoa. There's one for you. I think he's carrying the can for him, though, I... Uh, uh, I think he was carrying the can for him. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, they got the wrong guy there. So they are carrying the can. Carrying the can was in the days when the miners used to use dynamite. And uh, they had to carry the can of dynamite down the TNT down into the mine. So who was going to carry the can? 1746, back to Ireland. 1844, back to Scotland. So there you are. Well, of course, once Queen Victoria, she was your saviour. Once she came in, they brought the tartan back because she stayed with um, Lord Bradalbin. So there we are. And uh, she stayed in um, Taymouth Castle and fell in love with the romantic side of Scotland. And then, of course, our old friend Walter Scott from Abbotsford in the Borders. Um, he um, beefed the place up a bit, and that was it. Bob Gerante, into the bedroom. Yes, all right. They were close the door. Robbie, you've lived for years, says Sharice. There you are. You've lived uh, in 1746, Robbie. You went to Ireland, and in 1844. But do you not believe that we maybe have more than one life? That's got you all thinking. Oi, are we really live right now, Scotty, says Paul McCulley. Paul McCulley, you must be, because I've just mentioned your name. So we are live. Scotty, what do you make of these insane shootings that's happening? Can't get my head round it at all, David Clark. People have lost the plot, and they, they feel tiny and helpless. What a job carrying the can. Absolutely. Kick the bucket. Still don't get that one. There you are, if he's kicked the bucket. Uh, well, I suppose kicked over the bucket. I don't know, kicked over the food. Uh, we've been through this. Half my family are liver puddling. I'm from Scotland, says Paul. All right, Paul, calm down. Calm down. I'm only saying, all right, you know, I wasn't saying you were from Liverpool. I knew you were from Scotland because we've been through this. You've told me. You've told me twice. There you are. Way hey, big man, what are you doing on here at this time of night on a Tuesday? I'm just tuning in, says Paul McCulley. Dinky doo, Paul. Get sharing, everybody. I'm a time layered. <laughs> Good one, Robbie. Excellent stuff. We like that. I'm a time layered. Wonderful stuff. So there we are. Sharice Stinky do she says. She's all laughter. All fun and laughter. Uh, one more share, and then off we jolly well go. So there we are. Can everybody do the same, please? Just share, share, share. Let everybody know what's happening. I'm going to share to another group. I'll share to uh, share to a group. Wonderful in. stuff. I'll have to turn this down. So there we are. Calm down, la. Calm down. Uh, kick the bucket was when you stood on the bucket with a noose on your neck. Someone would kick the bucket and you were dead. Oh, David, my goodness me. What a clever top man. Don't desert the Scotty McClure show, David McCafferty. Because uh, these are great. And uh, it's all about information, education, 
and entertainment. You were quite right about the shooting, Scotty. Gemma and Marie McRae, I can't get my head around that. I mean, why would you want to harm another person, you know? I've only had a brush with one really bad person in my life, somebody who took money from me, uh, supposedly through business. And, um, you know, it was just a baddie and all the rest of it. You know, that's just the way of it. But apart from that, I love my fellow human beings, you know? So there we are. Share, 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 share. And we should all love each other. The greatest of these things is love. Faith, hope, and love. There we are. Haggis kebabs next week. I'm making them. I saw them on TV, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Excellent stuff. And we bring harmony on the Facebook Live show, the Scotty McClue Facebook Live show. I'm only the catalyst. You are the people. Uh, you reminded me of Jimmy Corhill, Free Brookie with the Liverpool accent. Jimmy was the man. Just do you remember Jimmy Corhill? I used to watch him. Um, I used to watch uh, Bruchy on uh, Saturday afternoons. Remember it? Fantastic. Great stuff. Uh, Wadge is uh, with us. Dinky do, Wadge. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure's Tuesday evening pop-up. The first lot of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, just for you, Dinky do. Because I know there's virtually nothing worth watching on the television these days. So why don't we do it ourselves on here? Okay, come and join me and let you and I make some great television together. And then when the radio show starts up again, we'll get stuck into that. Okay, Dinky Doo says Wadge. Lovely Scotty says David Clark. Yes, I agree, Scotty. No need for it. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, Sharice. So there you are. All the people I've met, and I've met hundreds, and uh, I've probably met thousands and thousands of wonderful people. I've met world leaders. I've met uh, senior service personnel, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force. Very, very important people. And, um, you know, all I'm interested in, I've met royalty, and all I'm interested in actually saying is people are people. There's no need for somebody thinking they're better than somebody else. They're just different. And out of all these people, I've met one bad person. One bad person. Yes, who couldn't be trusted. Haggis and sausage meat and a bit of honey. I had a proper honey roast ham the other day. So they are wonderful. Why do my dogs always want out when I tune in, says Gary Sampson. Well, maybe they're not Scotty McClue fans yet, or they're thinking, ah, he's going to watch that, we can go for a wander. Uh, did you see River City tonight, says Gemma and Marie McRae. No, that's a little joy that I actually have denied myself tonight. So there we are. Navy Senior Service, the Queen's favourite, says uh, David McCafferty. Well, yes, it is the Senior Service but the Queen is its most senior officer. She's also the head of the army and the Royal Air Force. Am I not correct? David McCafferty. I've never, never met a person that isn't important, my friend, says Paul Sefton. Exactly. We're all equals, you're sure he's absolutely. I responded to Gemma and Marie McRae. Big Lenny. Oh, I think I should play a baddie in River City. Somebody who's Bigger than Lenny. Lenny, you and I are going to have to talk. And what I'm going to tell you, Lenny, is the kind of talk where I talk and you listen. Do you get me, Lenny? Oh, frighten the life out myself. <laughs> Don't have nightmares, guys. Just a bit of banter. Hello, Scotties, says Kaliana Amira. Kaliana Amira, what a beautiful name. Where are you from? Um, I have one more for you. Freeze the, oh, the round things off a brass monkey. Now, I would think that the brass monkey might be something like the the binnacle and the binnacle has got two balls either side which are uh, soft iron is that not right so they sort of protect the compass so you get an accurate reading so they would freeze 
the 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 two side balls of the binnacle which holds the compass aboard ship. Am I right? There you are. David McCafferty, am I on the right lines? There's another one for you. Uh, you'll see me in River City on the 23rd of October. Good story coming up, says Robbie. Robbie's an actor, so we shall watch out for you. Used to love the calls. Used to get from the weirdos, says Wedge. Wedge, that covers a lot of people. So there you are. Remember the whole world square except thee and me, and I'm not so sure about thee. So that's it, as the Yorkshire people say. Aye, all world square except thee and me. Not so sure about thee. Uh, poor doctor, another bites the dust, says Derek Jimmy Walker. What are you talking about, Derek Jimmy Walker? So, uh, Robbie, what are you answer Sharice he's in River City he told you um, so there we are Robbie doesn't like the frozen balls so he's obviously a seaman himself uh, I'm from America and Texas my family's from Scotland originally says Kaliana Hamira are you watching us in Texas Kaliana are you watching right now uh, do spill please the Nazis still need to shorten the skirts says Trevor Entwistle so there you are I will share this in groups I'm, I'm off to bed up early sorry talk to text is awful today says Kaliana. So there we are. Kaliana, are you watching in Texas? River City is the Derek, uh, Jimmy Walker, Robbie. Uh, so there are Sherry's. Stop that, Sherry's. Stop it. Right. Here's one for David McCafferty. Let's just see. Now, David, you've been very, 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 very good. And McClure is no slouch, right? I'm not as daft as I look, which is a good thing. So, here we go. Smarty Robbie, eh? So, Sharice, sure absolutely, Sharice. Sure yes, watching in the Wild West, watching in Texas. Kaliana Amira has joined us from Texas, guys. So, there we are. Um, I do acting and I sell stuff, says Robbie. Dermot Scotty McVicker is watching in British Columbia, in Canada, or Vancouver. Have I got it right? Um, Scotty McVicker, you are an absolute top man, and you're off very, very, very good stock. So I believe. You're right about the binnacle. However, the monkey was a plate. The cannonballs were placed in. When the weather got cold, the monkey would contract and the balls would fall off. So if it's too cold, it throws the balls off a brass monkey. So a seaman's term. I tell you, right, here's one for you then, David McCafferty. Just to let you know that McClure is something of a nautical person. Well done, Scotty. Love your voice. In River City, Gemma and Marie McRae. Did you like that one? Frightening the life out of Lenny there. So that's that. Uh, need two jobs, at least, says Robbie. I know what you understand, Robbie. I understand what you mean, I mean. Right, David McCafferty, here's one for you. That's taken the guilt off the gingerbread. Okay? What does that mean? And I will tell you if you are correct, but I will also tell you if you're not correct. So there you are. Um, I've got two jobs uh, and loads of wains, says Robbie. Absolutely, yes. The wains, it's not cheap to have a wain these days. Hit me with it, sir. Right, David. So there we are. That's taken the guilt off the gingerbread. Where does that one come from? Do tell. Spill, I say. You'll love this one. So there you are. Right, I've given David one. He's been so good tonight. He's come up with all that brilliant, brilliant stuff. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue, the World Stop Broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. We're live on Facebook Live. Get sharing this show. Hit me with it, sir. So there you are. David, that's it. Right, are you listening? That's taking the guilt off the gingerbread. That's a saying. What does it mean? Where does it originate from? Uh, can we have more smiley faces and tap, 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 tap? I bet you do, Robbie, says Sharice. Sharice is having her own side show there. Scotty, I seen something earlier. You didn't see something. You saw something earlier about a quiz. Are you doing a still game one? Uh, no, I was doing a, a quiz last night. So you'll see that on Facebook Live. Guys, I hope you get all the Scotty McClue shows going round on Facebook. Because I do worry that the old um, 
algorithm stops you from seeing some of the Scotty stuff. So there you are. I missed 40 minutes of it. Looking for a third future wife. Stay single, Robbie. Uh, Bruce the Alligator Man is after you, says Denny J. Walker. Catch up, says David Clark. Dinky you do. I was out sailing tonight, Scotty. Can't beat a night in the water. Paul Sefton. Quite late for sailing, I would have said. Well, I suppose August. You can't really sail much after September unless you're into um, very, very cold sailing, you know, that sort of thing. So there you go. Lovely night for it tonight. Am I not right in thinking? Quite mild. Excellent stuff. Did you uh, lee ho? Did you ready about? Did you lee ho? Did you ready to jibe? Did you jibe ho? Did you beat? Did you run? Did you spill the wind? So there you are. Uh, how are you today, Scotty? Excellent, Alistair King. Thank you very much. No, I look, Scotty. Come on. We need an answer. That's taking the guilt off the gingerbread. Where does that originate from? Now, come on, David McCafferty. This is right up your patote. Right up your uh, marble strassa, I say. Ah, that's a tough one. Taking the sugar out of the gingerbread. And is it guilt off the gingerbread? No, David, I'm going to put you out of your challenge here because you'll love this one. In the old sailing ships, right, the senior crew and the captain had these cabins up at the uh, after end of the ship, right up at the stern. They had these cabins and it looked like a wee house on the old man of war, right? Now, a lot of them were decorated, Royal Naval um, frigates and things like that were decorated with um, gilt, proper gilt, G-I-L-T, gold leaf, right? Now, if the ship happened to collide with the pier or collide with another ship during engagement in battle, you could take the gold leaf off the gingerbread. So it was known as gingerbread because it was very decorative. If you look at the after end of an old man of war around the 17, 1800s, I mean, you think Britain had command of the sea. She had these naval battles. She had uh, Cape St. Vincent, Cape Finisterre, and then on to Trafalgar, right, where Nelson lost his life. Uh, so there you are, on to Trafalgar. So you're the late 1790s to around 1805, and that's when you'd have your cat of nine tails. That's when people would get keel hauled so that the barnacles ripped their back open. Terrifying stuff. Uh, Battlefield Rest is watching. I send you strength and good luck to Battlefield Rest. Night, night, Scotty, says Gemma Ann Marie McRae. Night, night, my darling. We did do all those, my friend. It was a race every Tuesday evening. Tough shift later in the season. I recommend it, Paul Sefton. Excellent stuff. Like the victory. Yes, HMS victory. Absolutely. Ah, I love it. She would have gingerbread on her house. Um, play Assassin's Creed, says Kaliana Amira in Texas, in the United States of America. Welcome, welcome. Tell America about Scotty McClure, Kaliana. Um, Good. Back in my personal account. Don't want to advertise on your program, says Robbie. No problem at all, Robbie. And uh, Sharice, guys, I'm going to have to dash. What a wonderful show it's been tonight. A great pop-up. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo. David Clark says right up your goonie. So there you are. Your goonie, of course. Your nightgown or your gown. Whoa. If you were at the hospital. So there we are. Sorry about that. I'm uh, just having a bit of problem here with my organ. Right, there we are. Excellent stuff. I thought you'd maybe like a tune on the organ. What would you like? So there we are. And uh, Kaliana, see you later, Kitty. See you, my darling. I'm just going to play you out. <laughs>
So there we are. Yeah, somebody said, do you know that Nelson's column is the same height as the main mast on the Victory class ships? How fabulous is that? Pleasure as always, Scotty. Talk to you soon. Good night, Sharice. Bye, Scotty. Sweet dreams to Sharice. Night night, my darlings. Lovely to have had you all with me, and we will catch up soon. This is Scotty McClure wishing you a very safe and peaceful good night. And dinky-doo!